this coffee or I'm just nervous, but I am shaking. morning today is the day today is shop update day and it is 8 20 right now which means i have 40 minutes before it launches and i had to wake up this morning at like 5 50 to drop marco off at the airport but i got to see a really lovely sunset so that was worth it but i'm also very tired now so i had to drink a little Mr. Brown. This is gonna be a very low, low energy shop update. So I technically already did a soft launch for my Patreons. It went pretty well. I wanted to do like a soft launch for them first because I am using a new platform. So I don't wanna like mess up the day of when like everyone else is seeing it and so I sent it out to like about 400 people they said everything was running smoothly there's a few things that I want to change in future updates but it has a lot to do with like the coding and I don't really know how to do the coding yet so I'm gonna push that off till the next shop update I guess we just wait now Fifty-nine. Disable password. It is done. <gasps> Post. Post. Is it done? No. Oh shit! I need to change that. Oops. Ah! Wait, why did Instagram change how you can share posts? How do you share this? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, <gasps> there's 134 visitors. I love how you can see like a live view on Shopify of like how many people are actually like shopping. I'm just posting my story right now, except Instagram is being poo poo. You know what really sucks? I'm gonna go on a rant right now. So Instagram runs off of like shares of a post and what sucks is that recently they changed it so that it's harder to share a post on Instagram. And if that is the way that gets my post more engagement and like pushes it out to more people, they're making it harder for people to help out small businesses to push out their posts because it's like impossible to share posts now because no one knows how to do it because they changed it so like instagram why mm. so many things are happening i'm like shaking i don't know if it's the coffee or i'm just nervous but i am shaking <gasps> there's 213 people that's frightening oh everyone's leaving such Nice messages. See, let me let me expand on this Instagram thing. So usually for shop updates, I feel like a lot of people share posts just to like help the artist out, you know, like help them boost their post. And it's been like eight minutes and I only have three reshares, which is really low for like what I'm used to. And it's because they changed how to share. I don't even know how to share a post on Instagram. Wait, how are you, how are people sharing posts on Instagram? I am confused. Is it just me? Why do I feel like I'm the guinea pig for Instagram? They're always like, like I was one of the first few people that couldn't see likes 
back when they first released it and now I'm not able to share posts. Is it just me? Let me Google this. New way to share posts on Instagram. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is how you do reshares on Instagram now. You take a picture first and then go to the sticker button on top and then there is a reshare button of all the posts you've interacted with and then that way you can share a post. That is so freaking dumb. I'm sorry. I'm just a little amped up because of the coffee right now. But yeah, that's very dumb. But I'm done, I think. Am I done? Did I do everything? Did I do everything? Oh shoot, no, I need to turn on Etsy. I totally forgot. I feel so relieved and like I can finally take a break and watch some TikTok and chill a bit. And then I will start packing. First 50.
is the start of the work week and I technically worked throughout Saturday and Sunday because I was just like <clears throat> I was like packing orders I think I packed a little over a hundred and eighty orders already I still have quite a bit not gonna lie so I think my goal is to at least pack a hundred a day until I have like less of a flow of orders coming in and from what I can see I think it's starting to slow down a little bit I think it's manageable but yeah this week is just gonna be packing a lot of orders let me show you what I've done so far I don't want to get too close because people have their addresses on the mailers but that bag's full of like letter envelopes and then this one's just the rest of the padded and flat mailer envelopes. I think before I start, I want to get changed so I'm more motivated for the day. I tried. This is what I came up with. This is a grandma look. motivated to pack orders today. I can feel myself just like slowly taking my sweet sweet time. I'll like lay out 10 orders at a time and then I'll literally leave those orders on the table and I'll procrastinate by like cooking or like I'll be like talking to Andrew for a little bit or I'll be TikToking my bed and then I'll come back and then I'll pack everything and then I'll lay out another spread of 10 and then I do the same thing. That's where I'm at today, like energy wise. It's very like mellow and I'm just like going with it. I really do want to get a lot of these orders out as soon as possible because I know how excited people can get when they get their orders because I'm the same way. Like I'm constantly checking the shipping of like when things ship and when it's coming and I'm just like so obsessed with like tracking things so I understand that like inner part of me and I want to be fast but also I'm gonna try to be reasonable with myself like 
there's no way I can pack hundreds of orders within one sitting. So I'm just kind of like vibing. Since it's been so long since I've packed so many orders, I forgot what it felt like to just turn your brain off and like do a repetitive task over and over again. And this usually causes me to like think a lot about things. Some things I've been thinking about are like, man, Vegas is really hot in the summers and I can't wait till it gets really chilly and I can like go out into nature again and get inspiration. I've been thinking a lot about like potentially maybe renting an office space or finding another space for my work because I'm starting to realize that I'm making the space work for me right now but I think when it came from like moving from a one bedroom apartment into like everything is in one room I didn't think about like how much it slows down the process of packing because I think back then I had two tables side by side and then I was able to like open like two more foldable tables and I also had my kitchen counter that I was laying orders on and I don't know if you can notice by the way that I pack orders is like I like to spread out all the orders first or as much as I can fit on any surface I have print out the labels for that batch and then I'll like pack it all at once um, I think when you're packing orders it's very important to like break down the steps and like group it together at the same time so what I'll do is first I'll lay out a bunch of envelopes I'll then um, go onto the computer and select out for example, padded mailer orders versus like flat mailer orders versus sticker order orders. And then I'll have those tags on my orders and so I can filter it out and just focus on just padded mailer orders. And that just like speeds up the process. And then I'll then go ahead and put on the shipping labels and the you got mail stickers. And then I'll individually wrap everything in the paper baggies and then I'll start like inserting them into it. So yeah, that type of like work style is what works best for me. And I'm realizing that like with so little surface space, I can only do 11 orders at a time versus back then I think I was laying out about 30 or 40 mailers and like just like going through giant waves of orders at a time so that it kind of like speeds up the process a little bit. So yeah, that's been on my mind. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about it anytime soon, especially not for this shop update because I mean my store is probably going to only be open for two weeks and then it'll be time to prepare for the holidays and like restock some things, make new products, you know, stuff like that. It's freaking gloomy today. It makes me super sleepy. Where's the sun? Where are my rainbows on my wall? There are no rainbows today. I don't know, man. I don't know. Also, like... Just part of me is thinking of... What if... What if I went to New York for like a month and just lived there? Or what if I went to Texas for a month and just lived there and just like worked remotely? That's something that I've always wanted to do is to just work remotely somewhere. But also the part that turns me off about that idea is that I have to pay pretty much double the rent because I'll be paying for like rent here, like storing my stuff and then I'll have to pay for rent there. But at the same time, it's just so enticing. And like, it's such a romantic idea of just like going everywhere and, you know, getting to live in new places and see where I like to be. Um, I don't know. I just have lots of thoughts. Um, it's not one of those like no thought days where I just kind of sit with zero brain cells. Today is just... A many thoughts day. Yeah. It's fun though. I, I'm really enjoying the like time to myself. 
of just like sitting in my room and like packing so many orders because it's like a very brainless activity that I can do. break from packing to show you some mail that I got. <laughs> got some September Patreon mail. Looks like either my someone looked through my mail, but it's open. They probably saw the stickers and they're like, nah, nothing worth anything in this package. And September stickers. Oh, I know what this is. I can't open this yet because this is gonna be for a future video and I'm gonna unbox this on camera. So I'm not gonna open that. I also ordered a Bagu bag because everyone has one. And I just wanted one too. Like literally every single tote bag or reusable bag that I own was either free from like an event from school or it was free because my mom gave it to me but she probably got it for free somewhere else. Um, so I wanted to buy a bag and I wanted it to be a cute one. So I got the checkered one and I don't know why. I'm kind of disappointed a little bit but like on the pictures, this showed up to be a lot warmer and even on camera, it looks like the colorway that I wanted but in person, this is like totally off from the color that I thought it was gonna be but I ain't complaining, it's still cute and I'm still gonna use it but I just thought it would be a different color <sighs> Now I can look cute while I grocery shop with my little checkered bag um, but yeah, I gave in to the pressure of everyone else having cute things, and I wanted one too. How do I carry this with one hand? 
Ow, I scraped my finger on the floor. I got a package. Ow. I got the scrape. I got the sticker giant. Oh my god! Do you want to see the biggest bangle on the planet? Dang, I was really hoping I could use these for this shop update, but I still have a ton of stickers. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm currently putting the VAT number and IOSS number onto the packages going to the UK and the European Union because that's required now apparently. And Etsy does it for you, like if you get an order from the locations that require VAT to be collected, then they will automatically like on the order they'll have this gray box that says you must share Etsy's IOSS number and then you write the number on the order and then you also write the value of the package so that when your customers get it you don't get charged or they don't get charged for the tax twice yeah but that's what I'm doing Parties are gone, weekends are open, can't even handle myself It's been going too long, more than a nuisance, what has it done to the world? Is everything a dream? I don't know what this means Time has been slow, it seems Cover your face while we So as much as you prepare yourself for a shop update, there's always something that has to go wrong and in this case, I realized that my new prints uh, these ones do not fit in any of the packaging that I have, and I thought it would. This is my biggest baggie, and it's barely big enough to fit this print into it. So I was like, okay, well, I gotta figure this out because I have a ton of these that I sold, and so I'm gonna have to order more of those. Probably has to be some like fast shipping because I need to get these orders out. Big Brain Tiffany saved these stamp sleeves that I get like whenever I order stamps they send it in like this uh, recyclable plastic sleeve and guess what? It is big enough. I just have to tape down the sides but yeah this saves me for today at least. Not for like the rest of these orders but at least for today I am saved because I have just about enough to pack these orders. Thank you, past Tiffany. Thank you a lot. In 19, so many different scenes. Growing for what I've seen.
routine Everything's run routine All of 19 Staying in quarantine Hey you, yes you, I'm talking to you, person behind the screen. When was the last time you felt super, super just creatively burnt out, you didn't know what to do, and you're literally just sitting there like, dang, I have no idea what I should do to get out of this creative burnout, and I don't know how to get started, and who do I ask, like, who can tell me these things? Well. I definitely recommend you to check out Skillshare, which is the sponsor of this video. I know especially during times like this when I'm like constantly packing and doing admin work or planning emails, I feel very inspired to create but at the same time it's like I don't know where to begin because I just have all this stuff on my mind and I'm just making sure my business runs smoothly and so that's where Skillshare steps in and I'm constantly just getting inspired by the creatives on Skillshare you can find thousands of classes on there which I have been learning from Skillshare since I was in college and a lot of my favorite artists are actually on there for example, today I found a class on there by Lisk Fang. I love Lisk Fang and I've loved her art for such a long time and I didn't know she had a class until I started scrolling through Skillshare. This is perfect for me because what I love about Skillshare classes is that you can take the classes however which way you want it to be. So you can either go step by step and watch each episode and do the homework assignment that comes with it, or you could be like me and just binge all of the episodes at your own pace. I personally like to watch every single clip all the way to the end and then get inspired to create things, but I do know that some classes on there do have weekly assignments and you just take it at your pace and you do the assignments and then you jump to the next video. The first thousand people that click my link in the description will get a month free of Skillshare Premium to try out and I would like to thank Skillshare again for sponsoring this video! You know, when I decided to have a shop update, this was exactly what I was worried about. Like, there is literally no space for me to like step. It's, it's like a maze every time I'm coming in and out of my room and just like navigating around. But on the bright side, I'm pretty much almost caught up with my orders. I have around like 70 orders left, except I ran out of labels last night and I ordered some maybe like a day or two ago so it says it's gonna come tomorrow. Hopefully it does but if not I'll just have to continue packing it next week. Also I looted today. Not really looted. I didn't steal but um, my neighbor was throwing away a lot of furniture and I saw from my upstairs window I was like peeking and I was like try to see if there was anything I wanted and there was this one round table that looked pretty good it looked like the round table that I made for myself except it was like a taller one and it had a glass like piece on it and I saw it and I'm like I must have it so I went down there and I grabbed it and I'm planning on doing some stuff with it I want to kind of like paint a design on top with like a fun color and then maybe seal it put the glass back on top and use it as like a plant stand or something you know I'm a hoarder if I see something I like that's free, you bet I'm gonna take it home. I just wish like I lived in New York though, because I feel like if you go around New York, you're gonna find such good stuff like always on the street. But like in Vegas, it's very hard to find anything good. It's usually like really old and like broken and dirty, but yeah. I'll try to give this table a second life. 
but that's a future project to tackle because I have this to tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little things, it's the little things that I find creeping from within my mind, fearing one day that I'll die. Fickle dreams can't even stay online. Can't keep track of all the times I've lied. One more to make it through the night. Cause I'm uncomfortable with this shit. I can't figure out what I did. Got no plans, got no compass. Searching for some land, nobody's hopeless. Cause little things, little dreams are all broken under the pressure. One day I hope I can measure myself to the Is like only wide enough to take this in. Yeah, this is a dumb idea. I don't know where to put it. I wonder if you could put it in between the mirrors. Yeah. I don't know. Then I can put this on. Uh, For now. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of wobbly in here. Okay. I have at least a little bit more walking space in my room now, so at least I can breathe a bit more. But I'm gonna just pack some Patreon orders, got my stickers, my postcards, and yeah, can't pack any more orders today until I get my labels shipped in. I'm feeling kind of lazy. I think I worked too hard for the past four days, now I feel very lazy. Pressure myself to go far, go too far, less just to feel I've gone far. No more distractions, but the life I'm living just feels like acting. So, damn, what the hell do I do when the going gets tough and I'm acting a fool? I'm losing touch when I look in the mirror. Can't see myself, it's not getting clear oh. Little things, little dreams are all broken under the pressure One day I hope I can measure myself Cause little things, little dreams are all broken under the pressure One day oh, I hope I can measure myself Alright, start lifting Alright Should I start? Nice. <sighs> I guess it's just us. Uh, I don't think we could fit more people. Can you hold my camera? No. <laughs> the next day it's supposed to close by the time you arrive. Is that Doja? Yeah. Cause I'm uncomfortable with this shit. I can't figure out what I did.
overflowing in there. We did it! Nice. We did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Thank you. Does it usually take longer? No. Hello, 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 hello. I am back and a majority of the orders have been mailed off. Thank you to my lovely housemates for helping me move it because I sure as hell would have not been able to do that all by myself. But yeah, I also got some stuff in my P.O. box and I thought it was really cute so I want to share it with you. I have these earrings from Banana Moon and they sent me like two different ones but I just mix matched it so you can see both of them at the same time. Thought the color was really cute, wanted to show you that. And then Peachy Skies sent me like these crochet little goodies. This one's a coaster and has my favorite blue for the leaves. And then she also sent me this like banana cup holder for like my drinks and stuff. And she sent me this magnet and this is a weird thing that I feel like I just found out recently but like my wall is slightly magnetic at this edge so I just like put magnets on here like this one's also magnet and they just stay there so this is like perfect I would like to thank everyone again for supporting me and like supporting my shop and just I literally cannot be doing what I'm doing right now without you guys and I'm very 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 grateful for every single order so thank you very much the majority has been sent out already. I maybe have around like 75 left to pack, but I'm still waiting for my shipping labels to come. But by the time you see this video, I'm pretty sure all of them will have been sent out because my store is now closed. And yeah, I'm hoping all the orders get to you all safely and that you enjoy the new stuff. I'll see you in next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye! Goodbye! I wish my voice was really low so that when I like talk through the bunny, the bunny has like a really, really low voice. Goodbye! Alright, see ya!